Hey guys, this is uh, Dan from Fisher Cheap Adventures and today we're going to talk about control arms. Specifically what the purpose is of the upper and lower control arms for your uh, solid axle Jeep or any other vehicle that uses control arms. I know this can be kind of a technical thing for most people so I'm going to try and break it down pretty easy. If this is something you're interested in, uh, please stick around for the video. Now, since in the last couple videos, uh, we have installed the lower front control arm on the Jeep, uh, JLU, and then we just put a geometry correction bracket and upper and lower control arms for the rear axle on the Jeep, all metal cloak products, um, secondary to an AEV lift, which already had the geometry correction brackets in the front. So if we think about our Jeep, We have the front axle here and the rear axle here. Our control arms run from the frame to the axle itself. And what happens is, is as the axle moves up and down, it moves in an arc like this. So here is the front and the rear axle. And these are our control arms that come down from the frame Again, very basic. So our coil spring and our coil spring. And the axle moves up and down in an arc uh, based on the compression or the droop of the suspension. As we lift it, these arm stock are supposed to be in a fairly parallel form. And what that does is it keeps the axle centered um, within the wheel well and then it keeps the caster correct so that your, your vehicle turns the way that it's supposed to. Now on a, on a stock vehicle, six degrees of caster is what you're looking for. And so all of your attempts with control arms and correction brackets all attempt to maintain uh, that, especially in the front end because that affects how the vehicle steers. Now the lower control arm specifically, all it does is it controls how close or far that axle is uh, within the wheel well. So as you lift your vehicle, the suspension actually starts to drop and pulls the axle back, making it not being in center. So you can use that uh, lower control arm to adjust the axle forward, uh, to put it back inside of uh, the center of the wheel well. The upper control arm is what controls the caster um, and in the rear axle, the pinion angle. So it affects how the axle turns up or down um, based on what length you have it set at. So when you lift your vehicle, um, by dropping the axle down, the axle starts to rotate this way. And you can use an upper control arm to shorten that distance to bring the caster back so that it steers correctly. The same is true in the rear axle as it also travels in this arc as you lift the vehicle, the axle actually starts to rotate up, which points the pinion angle up. You can use the upper control arm. So the lower control arm and the rear serves the same purpose. So you can lengthen that um, to recenter the rear axle because as you lift it, it's gonna bring the axle back toward the frame. So, so look at it this way. The lower control arms in the front and the rear are gonna, main, are gonna keep that axle centered so it's going to keep your wheelbase basically the same. It's also going to center that spring back in the spring pocket. So a lot of times when you lift vehicles, especially in the rear, you can see that bow. Well, that's because the axle has dropped forward and you're putting a bind between the actual spring, uh, the connection point on the frame to the axle and it's not in, out of alignment. So this lower control arm can help you realign the axle to the, to the spring so that the spring is functioning up and down you don't have that bow in the back. Sometimes you can't avoid that. They make some shims to adjust the coil spring so it's you know specifically level. Um, but typically the lower control arm can help you not only recenter that, but it also centers that axle to where the coil spring is supposed to be setting. The upper control arms control the pitch of the axle itself. So it makes the pinion go up or it makes the pinion go down. In the front axle, that's that affects caster, which is the steering. So your ability for the steering wheel to recenter on a turn. It also uh, 
can get rid of that loose feeling that sometimes people complain about with Jeeps. Most of the time that's because you've lifted it um, and your caster angle is off. So lower control arms do a really good job of recentering the axle inside the wheel well and correcting the caster angle in the front and correcting the pinion angle in the back. Simple, down, nerdy, quick and easy. Hope you guys got something out of it. Thanks for watching. This is Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures. We'll see you on the trail.